Welcome. Let's head over to the continent's most populous nation, Nigeria, where a new excise duty for alcoholic beverages and tobacco approved by the president is taking effect from Monday, the 4th of June. The country's finance minister, Kemedi Oshun, says that the upward review of taxes on both alcohol and cigarettes is designed in part to raise the government's revenues. So then, let's get you the latest details on this. Deji Badamus is live in Lagos tonight with more data on this particular story. Um, Deji, this policy was announced back in March. How vendors and makers of cigarettes and alcohol beverages reacted? Well, Rama, what I can tell you is that um, we haven't seen much of a reaction. This is one decision that uh, a lot of people have actually welcomed. Um, some of the reactions we've seen, quite understandably, has actually uh, come from uh, the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, for instance. Uh, they're worried that, um, you know, the application of this new taxes now may lead to the closure of some companies and lead to a uh, loss of jobs. And that, that's quite understandable because, um, you know, um, I mean, the, the dealers or, or manufacturers of tobacco and um, some of these uh, manufacturers of local um, uh, say beer and wine, for instance, are members of that association. So it's quite understandable. But other than this reaction from um, this group, I'm talking about the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, um, this, um, the, the new law has been broadly welcomed, especially by environmental groups, of course, that have been campaigning for, for instance, for the ban of tobacco in Nigeria. So uh, pretty much um, a, a lot of people are welcoming this, uh, with the exception, of course, as I said, of the Manufacturing Association of Nigeria uh, that has come out against it, saying that uh, it, it fears it could lead to uh, the closure of some companies, some factories, and, and the loss of jobs. Indeed. Uh, back in March, the Finance Ministry said this move was designed to bring Nigeria's excise taxes on alcoholic beverages and tobacco in line with her partners uh, in ECOWAS, the Economic Community of West African States. As things stand now, is the entire bloc having the exact same taxes or are there countries that are yet to comply? Uh, what I can tell you is that um, I, I'm not absolutely sure that the entire bloc uh, has uh, exact same taxes. What, what I do know is that uh, in late uh, December, December last year, uh, the Council of Ministers of ECHO has actually met and they issued a directive for the harmonization of um, uh, member state legislation now on excise duty. Uh, that directive has not been fully complied with, just like we have um, uh, with uh, the uh, of course, uh, the common external tariff, not all the ECOWAS member countries are actually uh, implementing that. So if that had been the case, Nigeria, for instance, would not be increasing its own uh, excise duties, for instance, on, um, on, on tobacco and, and alcohol. So um, even though I cannot, um, you know, tell you the countries that are defaulting, the fact is that um, not all the member uh, state countries now are actually implementing that directive. It was just a draft directive now that was issued by the Council of Ministers. You still do not have a law, so to speak, in place. I mean, by ECOWAS now. Um, so it's, it's just, it would be understandable that not all the member countries would be implementing it because, um, you know, um, sometimes the macroeconomic conditions in these member countries are, are, are not exactly the same. So it would take some time, for instance, for some countries to actually comply and uh, it will take um, it, it might be easier for other countries as a matter of fact to uh, begin implementation immediately indeed we'll leave it there for the time being that stage by was there live in the